Well, I'm back. Hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I'm back in Raleigh from the 115th Holy Convocation that just took place last week in Memphis, Tennessee. The Lord blessed us in a mighty way, and I am so glad to be in my office, in my seat, in Raleigh, North Carolina, Speaking to you today, uh, God is good and worthy to be praised, and uh, I have so much to share with you. At the very beginning, I want to acknowledge the passing of a tremendous man of God who played a, a major role in my becoming prelate of North Carolina III, ecclesiastical jurisdiction, just this past Sunday, November the 12th, Bishop Sedgwick Daniels general board member, Bishop of Wisconsin First, prelate of Wisconsin First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, went home to be with the Lord. What a tremendous man of God he was. And he's gone from labor to reward. And we say to his family and to his friends and to his church, Holy Redeemer, Church of God in Christ. And what a church uh, that is. We say to the saints, we're praying for you. We're praying that God will see you through and that the Lord will bless and will bless the work to continue. His sister Valerie, we praise the Lord for her and to all of the Daniels family, we're lifting you up before the Lord. And saints, he's on high with Jesus and he's celebrating uh, in his new body. To God be the glory. Also, I want to mention, I want to give a great big shout out to the presiding bishop of the Church of God of Christ, our leader, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, and to, uh, well, listen, we call each other director, director Michael B. Golden Jr. Uh, God bless him. What a tremendous time we had uh, on Friday during the convocation, uh, men's day. And yours truly was uh, uh, was the speaker for the men's day service. I preached a message entitled uh, God is looking for men who will eat from the Lord's table and drink from the Lord's cup only. And the Lord blessed and moved in a mighty way. I want you to go out and uh, and and look up that message it's out there if you haven't seen it already it will bless you real good we preach god's truth with power and authority the only way we know how to preach it without compromise declaring what god said hey i also also we got some pictures there for you our deacons, God bless Deacon Joe Morgan, God bless uh, Deacon uh, Daughtry Miller, Deacon Carl Clark, Elder uh, David Little, and uh, uh, so many others uh, who were who are part of our uh, the board here, the board of directors of the church, were out there in Memphis, Tennessee, as you can see, uh, marching in on Men's Day, upholding their banner. Uh, I was so grateful. God bless uh, Deacon Sarah Fork, who is one of our board of directors. We were, we was just so blessed to have uh, Elder Jude Albert, who was uh, who was a part of our church, and uh, these men were part of the color guard. I am just it it was a tremendous time that we had in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, at the Holy Convocation, and uh, it was a it was a blessed convocation, and we're glad to be back here with you. Last week at the convocation, we did not fail to pray for Israel. And I, I my position is unchanged. And the reason my position, my friends, is unchanged is because the word of God is unchanged. God have not thrown away his people. God has not turned his back on the nation of Israel. And I tell you, the Bible predicts that they will mourn for the ones whom they, whom they have pierced. The day will come when Israel as a nation will call on the Lord Jesus Christ and our Lord will answer and our God will uh, deliver. But I'm praying that God continue to watch over Israel. As you can see, 
As you can see, Hamas, and when I speak of Hamas, I'm not talking about all of the Palestinian people. I'm not speaking of all Gazans, but Hamas has placed, they, they literally hide among civilians. They literally uh, put their headquarters and tunnels underneath a hospital. And as Israel has invaded the hospital and they're being as careful as they can be to spare civilian lives, they found huge caches of weapons, weapons stashed in the MRI rooms and places like that. Uh, who ever heard of uh, people who would fight among amongst civilians and the people who are being reported on as evil in the news are the Israelis, the Israeli defense. Uh, 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 and, and, and as they are trying their best to protect civilian lives, Hamas doesn't care about civilian lives at all. As a matter of fact, they want the numbers to go up so that you can see what's, so that you can get a, a worldwide condemnation of Israel. And you see all throughout the United States of America, most people didn't know that anti-Semitic uh, hatred uh, was as, as, as bad as it is. But my friends, you see it. And I want to say to you, Especially those of you who are born again, regardless to your nationality, regardless to your color, regardless to your complexion, agree with the God of the Bible. Come down on the Bible side of things and you will be blessed of the Lord and highly favored. Now, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about tonight. God has given me something that is going to bless you real good. The Bible says this, and, and this is just a teaser. I'm not going to preach from this passage of scripture. I may include it tonight. I may not. But the Bible says this uh, in uh, Proverbs chapter number 23 and verse 7. Uh, well, why don't I read to you right quick uh, verse um, 6 and 7. It says, eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. Do not eat the bread of a man who is stingy. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. That is, he's irritated that you're eating it. The real person is what they think. The real us is revealed through what goes on in our minds and in our hearts. And the God of the Bible can read your mind. He can read our hearts. Well, saints, I want you to know that there's a certain mindset that the God of the Bible wants you to have as you go through various challenges, various attacks, and all the things that are going on in the world today. There is the mind of a warrior, of a victor, the mind of someone. I didn't say victim. I said victor, the mind of someone who wins the battles as they stand for Jesus Christ. And I'm going to show you something tonight that's going to bless you. And you're going to walk away from the service thinking differently. You're going to walk away from the service believing God like you've never believed him before. Because I'm telling you, with everything that's going on in this world today, I'll tell you what hasn't happened. The Lord God has not ceased to be God. Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He is yet the true and powerful and only potentate. The world and all that you see going on, the summit between uh, uh, the Chinese leader and the U.S. president, the things you see going on in the streets, the invasion that's taking place on our southern border, all the fentanyl that's pouring into the country. And we hear about so many negative things. We hear about the preacher who's backslid. We hear about the church that is closed. We hear about people who have given up. But let me tell you something. The God of the Bible is moving by his spirit and he's moving in all the world. 
And I want to talk to you tonight. I want to talk to you tonight about the way you think, how you believe God on the inside. And if you do it, you're going to be blessed. And as I close, I want you to check this out. Is it something that I said? Look at this shirt that I have on my friends. Listen, I am marketing this shirt. This shirt, it, the, the, the slogan is a, is, is a slogan from a statement that Elder John Amenchuku made when he was in Asheville fighting for the minds of our young people. John, Elder Amenchuku, John, I officially call him, has been on the front lines for over a decade fighting for the unborn. Now God has this young man traveling all over the country fighting for the minds of the newborns and the high school kids and the preschool kids and the four-year-olds and the three-year-olds as people are trying to put books, make books available with garbage in it that no child should read. To be honest with you, no adult should read it because when he goes to the school boards and he reads from the very books that they support, they tried to stop him. And he was in Asheville and he was reading from the literature that they promote and stand by. And they were stopping him saying, sir, sir, this is not good. This is not good. And he stopped and Gary's going to show you the clip. And he says, is it something that I said? And Gary, let's go to it. After a bit, a person becomes gonna, erect, stiff, me. and larger. Pastor, Sometimes a bit of clear Pastor, fluid that may contain a few sperm comes out of the tip of the penis and makes Pastor, it wet. Can we, sir, I'm sorry. I, Was it something I said? That, that phrase, that question has caught on. And people have been asking Elder Amanchuku all over the country, is it something that I said? And I want you... If you believe in this cause, and if you believe that a, a material that is not appropriate for children should be placed in libraries and placed on fingertips where kids can get their hands on them and the family, the parents not know, if you believe that this is a worthy cause, I want you to go to I Know God Merch. I Know God Merch. I know God merch.com. You see it on the screen. You see it on the screen. And I want you to check out the merchandise that is there. A wonderful hoodie. Uh, this beautiful uh, black shirt here. Uh, top quality. Feels good. And uh, when you put it on, it feels good. And you're talking about a message. Is it something that I said? Well, I'll tell you. And I speak this for Elder Armand Chukwin. He didn't ask me to do this. Matter of fact, I asked him if I could. He's saying the same thing that the Apostle Paul said. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone, to every man that believeth, to the Jew first and also the Greek. And as he stands and he reads this inappropriate material, it is highly inappropriate School boards get bashful. They try to shut him down. And his simple position is, if this is too dirty for you, then it's much too dirty for our children. Go there. I know God merch.com. Get the merchandise. Support this work. I get no kickback from this. Nothing. I get no numeration. I, I don't want anything. If I was, if it was offered to me, I wouldn't take it. I just want it to succeed. And I know that Elder John Amanchuku is the real thing. And by the way, Amanchuku literally means I know God. <laughs> now look, join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And the things that we have to say to you is going to bless your thinking it's going to bless your mind. It's going to see you through. It's going to make you strong. I love you. And you know what we're going to do tonight? Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to stay.
study <laughs> the Word of God together. Join me right here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for, I'm doing it twice, Bible study. <laughs> That's right. We're going to study the Word of God together. And I appreciate you. People stop me everywhere and they do the little drum roll. Pop it up and up, pop. And so we're going to study the Word of God together. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Get in this shirt. Get in this shirt. Is it something that I said?